guys. Well, it's been fun. Um, I've had this um, printer set up with soft ink for a couple of weeks now. Oh, by the way, I've left this printer in this barn at my personal house, and we only record YouTube videos with it. It's the only reason I have it. And it's been about two weeks since I used it last. I fired it up, hit clean one time, and we had a perfect nozzle check, and it's printing great. Um, but it's been fun. I'm done experimenting with the soft inks. They work great. I've got to switch this back out to hard ink so I can get back to our main focus, which is printing on hard surfaces. So I'm actually going to move this over to our showroom, and uh, I'll start making videos over there. But I wanted to show you real quick, because I'm going to switch it back over to hard inks, how to switch out soft to hard and hard to soft or fluorescence or any other type of inks that you might want to use without damaging your print head. The best way to do this is get yourself some more ink wells. I'll put a link to these in the description. Hopefully we still have some after this video because stuff seems to go fast after we make a video. Uh, and this is actually full of hard inks right now and I put tape over the breathers right here just uh, and I store my hard inks in here and we have caps on here which I haven't color coded so we know this is black ink and so forth you know yellow ink we're going to get over here to the ink bank and it's it's a relatively simple process but it's a little messy you might want to consider getting nertile gloves to protect your hands i don't have a problem with ink touching my hands but i have heard of people having allergic reactions and stuff like that to the ink but i, I haven't had that problem but so use your own precautions use wear your goggles and your face masks and your hazmat suits and your nertile gloves with me I'm going to go at it like this. All right, so you're going to want to have high quality rags on hand. Um, I'm at my workshop. The only thing I got is a bathroom, so high quality rag right here, like so. And we're going to, to work on, I'm actually going to do the white first because it's the most difficult. This instance, I was only printing for a couple of weeks, so I just I kept the white one, so the hard, connected to the machine and left the stirrer in it. And then before I went to print, I physically shook the white before I went to print for the soft ink. And I'll make more sense here right now. I'm gonna to try to switch this out, but I don't have a lot of room over here. These are, this is, woo. All right, so this is the white ink, uh, soft ink, which I use 250 milliliters bottles. And this is a 500 milliliter bottle. So uh, we need to actually pull these out. So these have a little barb in them. So you take a little pair of pliers and you, the first time to pull them out and you grab a hold of this, twist it a little bit and pull it up and it pops out through this barb. And then you can take this hose out. And uh, I'm going to take this hose out with a rag around it. And it's going to leak a little ink. So we, that's why we have the rag. And I'm going to take it and put it directly in the white hard one right here. Try to clean my mess up over here. And same thing for number two. Depending on what model you have, you might have more than two in here. I only have two because I guess it's the ZZ1S. Okay. Now this bottle's free. Here. Next bottle I can tell is black because we're color coded on the cables. So I'm going to grab my black bottle and we'll pull this cap off of it. And we're going to pull this out. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Up. Cover the tip. Pull this little doodad out. There you go. Push that down and clean this up. Push that all the way in. Make sure your cap are on tight. This cap's not on tight. <laughs> All right, so you can see I clearly I have these all back in here. Now there's a sensor in the front of this little doodad right here. Uh, we need to reset this. Okay, so there's a, a sensor that tells you when you're running low on ink, and we need to reset this because, well, my 250 mil bottles weren't even touching the sensor, so it thought we were empty completely, and it was printing. So. Uh, to reset this, it's going to think that we're empty. We actually just need to turn the machine off and turn it back on and we reset our sensors. And, um, well, let's get this thing ready to print hard inks. Okay, so this is the uh, soft inks that I just pulled out. I can tell because they're 250 mil instead of the 500 mil, which would be twice the size. 
and then this is the hole that the uh, the pipes went down into. So you're going to want to take a piece of tape, put it over top of this hole, just to keep air from going down. And it'll store in this for a long time. If you use a translucent or transparent tape, put something over top of that so the light can't shine down there because the lights and the sunshine can slowly cure your inks. And that'll store for, if well, depending on how fresh your inks are, this will store for quite a long time. Okay, so I am going to finish, uh, show you how to load, get the link inks ready to print the hard inks uh, the cleanest way, and that's going to jump over to the screen editor. Okay, so we're going to do um, to get the soft inks completely out. Right now, we've we got the ink wells are empty, and what's full is the ink tubes and the dampers and the print heads still have soft ink in them, and we can't let that sit around. And oh no, by the way, so I reset my computer, and now you can see these are not flashing, so my ink levels are telling me that it's we're full we're good okay so we're going to settings if we drop the load ink down in your settings you should have first inking this is the new n10 headboards and the new n10 software so if you click first inking what this does is it loads for 30 40 seconds then it does a, a normal clean and then you should be pretty close to ready to print so let's go ahead and do the first inking and that's going to get all the soft inks out now you're not going to want to load ink and do your first uh, inking that often it does waste some ink but we've got to get rid of that um that soft ink okay according to this it's it's about done you can see here down this bar we're still cleaning right now it's just about done okay so we're done cleaning. So let's go ahead and do our first nozzle check and I'll show you how to do that from the um, camcorder. Okay, so we've got the soft inks pumped out. Um, we ran that first inking. If you don't have the first inking option, which the older software doesn't, all you do is you load the ink for 30 seconds, then you run a normal clean. That's all first inking is. 30 seconds is typically enough time to pull all the ink out of the tubes and all of the ink in the dampers and all of the ink out of the print heads. And uh, now we should be running hard inks. So I want to go ahead and just do a nozzle check real quick and print a color flag just to verify we're good. Okay, so we're just going to run this piece of wood in and then we'll run it up to the sensor. All right, so it's up to the sensor and just one pulse down. Now we'll move the head over. We've got a good gap there, that's good. So now I'm gonna pull it back and then press the button that says nozzle, which is this right here. There's also a button that says check in the software. And this will verify CMYK for us. Okay, so after loading for 30 seconds, you know, so this is white over here. It's not 100%. So what I'm going to do is we just print a color flag on this and then we'll have a perfect nozzle check and um, we should be ready. Okay, so it's going to start the color flag. The colors are going to start out awful. Okay, they normally do when you do something like this. All right. Let's check that nozzle. All right. All right, so after the first inking, this is our first color flag. You see these blacks here, and then it goes to good colors. Um, that's, that's looking pretty pretty good. I believe we got our, our hard ink in now. You can feel because the soft ink is a, it, it feels a tiny bit sticky. Hard ink doesn't, so that's one way you can tell that it's in all the way. Um, well, that's how you change out your soft to hard inks. It also works if you guys are interested in the fluorescent inks. We got some really really cool uh, black lights that glows up in the black light. Uh, you can follow a link right here, and you guys can see that. Uh, Maybe print one more color flag if you're worried about it. Print and then just start printing like you would normally with hard inks. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty easy, and that's how you do it. My name is Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.